Hello and welcome to News 9. I'm Mr. Tain. First up, in a bizarre incident, kerosene started spewing out of the road in Bengaluru. The incident was reported from a residency road. It is said that the kerosene started spewing out from the road at around 9 a.m. And uh, until now, around 4 to 5 litres of this inflammable material has uh, flown into a nearby ditch. Residents and commuters are a concerned lot, but at the same time, even as curious onlookers are coming onto the streets uh, to check on what exactly is uh, happening, it has led to a massive traffic jam. The traffic uh, uh, police officials were called in immediately by uh, eyewitnesses, but uh, they evinced little interest and just had a brief look and then walked away. Now, the fire department officials have uh, come in to take stock of the situation. Well, my colleague uh, Deepak was uh, present at the spot. Let's take a look. You're standing on Residency Road. This is the Cash Pharmacy Junction right opposite the LIC building. You see a large crowd has gathered here. People from the LIC building as well are looking onto something happening and all the attention is drawn towards this particular place, this particular patch where you see a certain kind of petroleum product has been flowing from about 9 o'clock. It's been coming right from beneath the earth. That's what the people here claim that there's some kind of petroleum product. As you see, even water which was dropped here is about settling on top. Like how, how if you pour water over a layer of petroleum or any kind of oil, how the water settles on, that's the same way it's settling down here. About four to five liters, they claim, of this petroleum product has been flowing down to that particular uh, drain there. So this has been happening right uh, till about 12 o'clock until when a car uh, apparently came here, went over this spot and due to which it has stopped. The fire tenders are here. The policemen uh, called in the fire tenders after which the, uh, the firemen have been trying to uh, find out what exactly is the reason behind uh, uh, this particular flow of this uh, unknown petroleum product here. The firemen are uh, uh, looking into the uh, aspect of digging a bit into the ground to find out what exactly is happening. With camera person Devaya, this is Deepak Bopana for News 9. Well, there we have it, uh, the mystery of kerosene spewing out of uh, the road on Residency Road. It has uh, created a chaotic situation because of curious onlookers coming onto the streets and uh, traffic coming to a practical standstill. What is unfortunate here is that the traffic police officials have done precious little uh, to defuse the situation. They have not erupt erupted uh, barricades around the region where four to five litres of this combustible material has uh, gathered. There is no diversion of uh, traffic. There is no attempt made to at least uh, control the traffic flow here and keep uh, the curious onlookers away from uh, the streets. So quite a chaotic uh, scene that is uh, being witnessed on the spot uh, there. We are still awaiting more details as to whether uh, it has been uh, found out what exactly this liquid is. It was said that it could be a mixture of various petroleum byproducts as uh, the smell is uh, extremely strong and uh, pungent. Uh, but uh, local residents as well as office goers are a concerned lot as to if this is an inflammable material, it could prove to be dangerous as it is uh, spewing out of uh, the road from where exactly it is coming. Why the officials have turned a blind eye towards it, we're still awaiting more details on that front. However, the fire brigade has arrived uh, on the spot. One fire tender has arrived on the spot to ensure that if the situation goes out of control, at least uh, there is precautionary measure taken. Uh, to minimize uh, the damage but as we are all aware a residency road uh, is one of the more crowded areas in the locality in bengaluru rather and uh, this particular road sees heavy flow of traffic all through the day and such a situation coming about has uh, seriously paralyzed the traffic and uh, the traffic department officials though doing precious little uh, to diffuse the situation Well, one fire tender has uh, arrived at the spot, uh, but the officials need to look deeper to find out what exactly is causing for this uh, liquid to come out of the road. If this does prove to be inflammable material like uh, what the commuters are suspecting it to be, then it could be quite dangerous. It could uh, indicate that a possible leakage of uh, pipe which the officials need to, uh, will need to fix at the earliest.
something was sprouting out from the ground here on the, and uh, uh, when we smelt it uh, in fact we took it from in the hand also and smelt it uh, we had a petrol smell in that mm. we got some petroleum uh, yeah some petroleum product it may be diesel kerosene or petrol whatever it is petroleum product and it was just flowing down down to that uh, till this uh, drain pipe immediately we called that uh, two police constables uh, and one inspector who were checking traffic were on their petrol their uh, regular petrol and uh, they both of them came they also saw when they came it was still there so immediately they called some control office uh, police control room and they int intimated some two constables came there and again this was then it slowly it stopped after one car i think one of our car came there and it stopped it stopped car went over it no? went over it and it stopped now nothing happened no nothing happened but still you can see this you can smell it so that time mr ibrahim no i have well, a few of the curious on look as they're going on to narrate what uh, they have been witnessing since 9 am uh, today but unfortunately the officials have not taken stock of the situation as yet just one fire tender has been stationed there to ensure there is damage control in case the situation gets out of control but since uh, there are many people gathering on the road as they are curious to know what exactly this liquid is uh, why it smells like a byproduct of uh, petrol the traffic has been completely thrown out of gear Moving on now, the NIA has arrested four alleged Indian Mujahideen operatives, including involved in the serial blasts in Patna. The blasts took place during a BJP rally that was being addressed by Narendra Modi on the 27th of October 2013. The DIG of NIA said that Modi was likely the target of the blasts. Let's not forget that this was uh, the explosion that took place during one of uh, Narendra Modi's rally in October last year. and close to four indian mujahideen operatives have been arrested in connection to the incident and now it is uh, being suspected and the nia has indicated that probably narendra modi was the target of uh, this blast a similar situation came to light when uh, there was chennai blast uh, last month when uh, a bomb exploded on board a train that was stationed in chennai but was headed to guntur where narendra modi was addressing a rally if the mathematics were done right then the train ideally was supposed to be in guntur at the time of explosion once again indicating that has uh, the newly elected prime minister yet to be prime minister rather as he is not yet taken his uh, oath but has been elected as uh, the prime minister is he becoming the prime target for uh, many of the terror groups certainly giving rise to such a fear now my colleague akshita joins us with more details on this well akshita what more can you tell us Uh, Anishita, we have to uh, keep in mind that this particular information comes in the back end of, of uh, arrest uh, in this particular blast. Uh, we understand uh, that four people have been arrested, including the alleged mastermind of the Patna blast, uh, who was identified as Haider Ali. All four of them had been uh, absconding. They were named accused immediately after the blast took place, and uh, with that also comes the revelation that possibly Narendra Modi was uh, in fact the target, which definitely puts a big question mark on everything that took place. if in fact uh, there is a, a a lot more uh, than uh, what meets the eye because there was a lot of talk about how those particular blasts the were in fact uh, uh, took place uh, just to in fact spread terror but was narendra modi the target is now the question doing the rounds that uh, the nia has refused to comment on this particular angle but the fact that this information has come after the arrest of four people definitely makes it all the more uh, solid uh, nishita we have to keep in mind of course uh, that last year in uh, on october 27th uh, we saw blasts Last took place at Gandhi Maidan, which was right outside in the rally premises. Uh, uh, Narendra Modi, of course, was not hurt, but uh, we did see uh, uh, a few people being killed as well uh, in uh, this particular blast. Uh, and there was a lot of talk about how Narendra Modi was the target. It was later uh, dismissed by agencies who went on to state that it was not uh, Modi, but uh, the people gathered uh, who were the target. That simply it was to spread uh, terror. So keeping that uh, in mind, now with this development, there's no question that the. 
authority will be that much more tight for Modi. Not the first time, of course, that this angle has come through. Not the first time we've heard of terror agencies targeting Narendra Modi. But with uh, the arrest of four people and now with that information coming out, it takes a lot more solid backing, Nishita. There's no doubt that his security will be questioned to a great extent and they will ensure that it is foolproof considering uh, that he's also to become the prime minister in a week. It becomes that much more grave if he is in fact the target of uh, terror agencies. But to take you through exactly what happened uh, with regards to the arrests, uh, Nishita, uh, we understand that uh, four people besides uh, Haider Ali, who's also known as uh, Black Beauty by uh, uh, the terror circles, uh, was arrested from Ranchi. And uh, besides him, there was Taufik Ansari, uh, Mojibullah, as well as Numan Ansari. All four of them were taken into custody. They were named as absconding accused in the NIA charge sheet, which it had filed uh, soon after the incident took place. And in all, about eight people have been arrested. Uh, we could look at the case being closed up, but uh, if there is, in fact, uh, a question of Modi being targeted, the case could probably go through a lot more investigations and scrutiny in Ishita. Right, Akshita. And also considering that this also comes in the backdrop of the Chennai blasts, which was also speculated that the blasts could have been to target uh, Narendra Modi's rally in uh, Guntur. Are we looking at uh, a new sense of fear arising for uh, the Prime Minister elect? Absolutely, Anashita. There's no doubt that with this particular revelation, the security around Narendra Modi uh, will be that much tighter, as I mentioned, uh, considering that now uh, from the BJP's prime ministerial candidate, he's uh, become uh, the prime minister to be. Maybe in a, uh, less than a week from now, he will be the official prime minister. Keeping that in mind, all of this information only makes it that much worse, only makes the threat uh, that much more grave. And as you mentioned, of course, keeping in mind the Chennai blast as well, while there has been no established link in that that particular case, there's no doubt that people will uh, uh, draw a line between the two and question whether there was a link between the Chennai blasts as well, whether that too uh, was a targeted attack against Narendra Modi, Nishita. Thank you for joining us with all those uh, details, Akshita.